cannot help asking those who have caused this situation, do you realize now what you've done? We know year by year what's going to happen, and they know we know. It's only you that they tell these fables and you buy it and spread it to the citizens of your countries. Your people do not feel a sense of the impending danger. This is what worries me. How do you not understand that the world is being pulled in an irreversible direction? That is the problem. But they pretend like nothing's going on. Uh, I don't even know how to get through to you people anymore. Довод НАТО от таков. Ракетный щит возводится не против вас, а против Ирана. Вы меня рассмешили. Дай вам Бог здоровья, потому что уже конец рабочего дня, так, в принципе, уже спать пора. Поеду домой в хорошем настроении. Because if you control that, you control the world. And what we're seeing, whether it's um, Ukraine or all these countries around here, they're all related to Eurasia and the takeover of Eurasia. Now, Albert Pike, who was an up there bloody um, mega Freemason in America in the 19th century, one of the uh, co-creators of the Ku Klux Klan, nice man, um, he wrote a letter. Some people say it's a fake, except it's turning out to be incredibly <laughs> prophetic. A letter to another uh, network, Illuminati as they call it, operative called Giuseppe Mazzini in I think it was 18, so yeah, 1871. And uh, he talked about three world wars. He described the First World War, happened, described the Second World War and how that would lead to the creation of, of what he called political Zionism, Israel. And then he talked about a Third World War, which would, as he said, take advantage of the differences caused by the agenteur agents of the Illuminati between the political Zionists and the leaders of the Islamic world. This Third World War was designed to come out of the Middle East. And Albert Pike said that at the time of the Third World War, they would unleash the nihilists. A nihilist, uh, one definition of nihilist is someone who rejects all theories of morality, which of course fits ISIS, ISIL, whatever they're called today, um, made in America, made in Israel, and to a large extent made in the UK. Uh, they're the same bunch. Uh, they started out as Al-Qaeda, which was created as Robin Cook, the uh, former British Foreign Secretary, before he died, very soon before he died, pointed out that Al-Qaeda was actually the creation of the CIA. Al-Qaeda means the base or the database, because it was the database of Mujahideen fighters in Afghanistan, which they got together to fight the, the Russians in Afghanistan. And it's gone through a series of changes from ISIS, ISIL, Islamic State, trained, funded, and armed by these people uh, to be the enemy that justifies the further invasion and control of the Middle East. This is the process. Hidden hand, Pentagon, CIA, Al-Qaeda, ISIS, ISIL, Islamic State. Um, CIA is training ISIS while... Uh, claiming to be com uh, combating ISIS, former CIA contractor. The evidence for this is overwhelming and coming out more and more all the time. They've trained these people, they've armed these people, and uh, lo a lot of the time in Jordan, to create this freaking mayhem problem to which they can offer their solution, which is what they're doing now, and that it's, it's nothing like what they want to do. This is why you find terrorist leaders inside the US aid tents in these countries. This is why you find John Rothschild go for McCain with uh, these people they call terrorists in these countries like Syria. And this is al-Baghdadi. He is the supreme leader of ISIS and he's the supreme leader of the world. I think you're a very naughty boy myself. ISIS joke uh, fraud. I'm the mysteriously elusive one because you mustn't know I really am. And look, he's got the watch. Flash freaking watch, nice man from CIA. Hey, wardrobe, continuity, what are you bloody doing? You left a freaking watch on, they'll see it. There you go, he got a good, uh, got a good number though. In the, there you go, he was, made a few quid there. It's a freaking joke. It's a joke. Some, I'm not saying this is true, but some people are suggesting that actually al-Baghdadi is this guy. Uh, Simon Elliott, or Elliot Shimon, um, a Mossad uh, agent, and um, he's been seen, this guy, with McCain, which doesn't surprise you. Um, 
And, you know, people might find that far-fetched. Why would they put somebody in to do that? Because they're creating an illusion. And this is um, Adam Gardan. The FBI announced he was an Islamic uh, terrorist that we all should be afraid of. Ooh. But who did he turn out to be? He turned out to be Adam Pullman, grandson of the former head of the Rothschild-created Anti-Defamation League. It's all an illusion. You're just put on an Arab hat and you, they think you're Arabic. And this lady, she's got two bullshit bloody detectors she has. She could have four. This is this, is this lady, Rita Katz, who... Um, claims that she found one of the beheading videos on the internet. Well, how freaking lucky. This is an organization, site, I call it shite, I think it's accurate, site, search for international terrorist entities, that was putting out bin Laden videos long after he bloody died in 2001. And she is an Israeli Mossad front person, and so's site. And it's all part of the propaganda. And this stuff is fake. I am not saying for a second that these people weren't killed. I don't know that. I wouldn't dream of saying that because I don't know that. But for sure, these uh, beheading videos are a freaking fake. And when this was pointed out uh, with the first one by the alternative media, suddenly video experts in the mainstream were coming out and saying the same because it was so freaking obvious. And the idea is to create maximum horror, so therefore maximum effect, because the more we are horrified, the more we will support what they want to do in the Middle East to protect us from the enemy they have created. This is the mind game. I don't want another war, but we can't stand back and let Islamic State do what it's doing. That's just what it's all about. And then there's these people. They... Oh, they've been radicalized. They've been vegetabilized from where I'm looking. They're going out, oh, Islamic State and all that stuff. They've been played like a violin by the very people they think they're opposing. Top U.S. military uh, official admits our uh, Arab allies are funding ISIS. What happened to those allies? They became part of the terror coalition against ISIS. You couldn't make it up. Kerry meets the Saudis. I just wanted to discuss how we stop the terrorists we're both arming. <laughs> 2011, Kerry, Assad is a very generous man. When it suits him, Assad is evil, I condemn him. And this is, this is how it works. It's very simple. We arm people when it suits us, uh, our agenda. We kill people when it suits our agenda. We say this when it suits our agenda. We say the opposite when it suits our agenda. That's the common theme. So he didn't get his Syrian war unfortunately for him, because people sussed it was a scam, but they're in Syria now because they've scammed the uh, ISIS story, and that's what it's all about. And um, here is the real reason they're in Syria, to remove him and get around the uh, resistance from the people. It's the totalitarian tiptoe, and here we go. No new war, they said, we've got a new war. We won't bomb in Syria, they're bombing in Syria. This is not about Assad, let's have a no-fly zone to stop people who haven't got planes. It's about Assad, who has got planes. No boots on the ground, they'll have boots on the ground. We're only keeping the peace, World War III. That's the progression they want. And they want to pull Russia and China into it. It's all part of that um, Albert Pike scenario. So they're now demonizing Russia. If you look at my books from way back, it was talking about you watch them start to demonize Russia, which is what they're doing now as part of this. And they, they, they blame them on bringing that plane down. Hasn't that gone quiet since radar revealed that it was being escorted by two Ukrainian jets at the time it went down? And if anyone thinks that that's, uh, you know, amazing, well, footage of Ukrainian helicopters firing on its own checkpoint raises questions. <laughs> They're bombing their own people and then blaming on Russian separatists. This is how the game works. Вопроса нет, а система ПРО продолжает строиться. Значит, мы были правы, когда говорили, что нас обманывают. С нами не искренне, ссылаясь на якобы имеющуюся иранскую ядерную угрозу при строительстве системы ПРО. Ну так оно и есть на самом деле. В очередной раз пытались нас надуть. Сейчас построили эту систему, сейчас ставят там ракеты. Так? Но вам должно быть известно, что ракеты эти закладываются в капсулу, 
которые используются для пусков ракет средней дальности «Томагавк» морского базирования. Туда закладывают сейчас антиракеты, способные поражать цели на расстоянии 500 километров. Но мы знаем, технологии развиваются. Мы примерно знаем, в каком году примерно американцы получат новую ракету, которая будет уже не 500 километров, а 1000, а потом больше. И с этого момента они начнут угрожать нашему ядерному потенциалу. Мы, мы по годам знаем, что будет происходить. И они знают, что мы знаем. Это вам только вешают лапшу на уши, как у нас говорят. А вы, в свою очередь, вешаете своему населению. И люди не чувствуют опасности. Вот меня что беспокоит. Ну как, вот, как мы не можем понять? Мы, мы тащим мир вообще в, в совершенно новое измерение. Вот в чем проблема. Делают вид, что как будто ничего не происходит. Но я не знаю даже, как достучаться. Wing level. Below the bridge wing. Below the bridge wing. Over the bow, right turn over the bow. Такое, что, мне кажется, должно подталкивать наших коллег и наших партнеров к более конструктивной работе, чем до сих пор мы это видим. Что я имею в виду? Совсем недавно, ну, совсем несколько лет назад, они лично нам не говорили, но я знаю, что они говорили своим, говорили, ну ладно, пускай там Россия ковыряется, нам уже даже не очень интересно. У них там ржавчина одна осталась. Ну, это не так. Сегодня это...